This is an illustration of different isotopes. Many atoms have, have different isotopes. Uh, potassium, for example, has uh, at least three isotopes. The white balls represent potassium-39. It has 19 protons and 20 neutrons in its nucleus. And then, of course, for a neutral potassium atom, there will be 19 electrons to balance the 19 protons. 93% um, of the potassium that's found naturally is potassium-39. So that's represented here by these 7,774 balls in this jar. Potassium-41 has two additional neutrons in it, so 22 instead of um, 20. And uh, it's 6.7% abundant, and it's represented by these gray balls, and there are 558 of these gray balls. Finally, potassium-40, you'll note that to be potassium, it needs to have 19 protons in its uh, nucleus. So potassium-40 has 19 protons and 21 neutrons in its nucleus. And it's represented here by this red ball. Its uh, abundance in nature is 0.012%. Very, very small percentage of potassium ions in nature are potassium-40. Potassium-40 of these three is the only one that's radioactive. So it um, spontaneously decays into daughter products. And um, its half-life, life, however, is exceedingly long. It's about one billion years. So if you have 100 potassium-40 isotopes, it takes roughly a billion years for half of those to, to, ra to undergo radioactive decay. So it's not very radioactive, not very dangerous for sure. And that is isotopes of potassium.